Greetings, SEC2 students and parents. I'm Mr. Tan Ting Xiong, the subject head of Design Technology, d, &D. I'm here to share about this subject and what it can offer. So what is design technology? In d, &D students leverage and build on their experience in design technology and emphasize on understanding everyday activities and creating possibilities to make life better. Through the design process, students cultivate creative, critical and reflective thinking to make sense of their learning and to develop related depositions and skills using graphical means and technology. In order to show you a clear picture of why design technology, let's take a look at some components of a graduating, graduating student's work. Students start by exploring different situations that they have come across in their everyday life and to then choose a problem situation that really interests them. Students then analyze the problem situation to identify the various needs. Through sketches, students will try to communicate some rough ideas and to do relevant research to try to solve the problems more effectively. Once the students have analyzed research and defined the problem clearly, ideas to solve the problems are then communicated via sketches that focus on users, products, and the environment interactions. Once a good design solution is chosen, students will carry out model making, evaluations, improve and develop the idea fully so that it meets the design specifications. Students will then produce working drawings before making the actual prototype. Students will then show how his or her idea works through graphical presentation. In Mastering, d and students have the opportunities to be trained and use CAD software like Autodesk to help him or her in their projects. The samples shown are produced using Autodesk Inventor. I hope you have a better understanding of what a d and subject is about. Next, let's look at the scheme of assessment for the various streams. While learning objectives remain largely similar across all three streams, requirements are slightly different. Percentage for written paper is 40% for O-level and NA, and 30% for NT. For NA and NT, students only need to cover two technology chapters compared to three in O-level. Another significant difference is the number of pages that a student will have to produce for his or her coursework. 90 pages limit for O level, 70 pages, and 50 pages for normal acad and normal technical, respectively. In Marceline, we offer upstream curriculum for students who show good potential. For example, a normal acad student may be offered to take O level in secondary three or secondary four. Students who have gone through two years of modular curriculum for DNT semester one for SEC two and semester two for SEC one. So who is suitable to choose d and in upper secondary? Right? If you are a person that is curious about how things work, you embrace complexity in problem solving, you love communicating through sketching and doodling, you love hands-on to create models and prototype using different materials and tools. And last but not least, if you love exercising judgment and able to make evidence-based decisions during your problem solving process, then you are the one. Why choose DNT then? DNT is a coursework based subject that is similar to curriculum offered in tertiary education. It allows students to pick up project management skills and be self disciplined. DNT also focuses on applications of skills and knowledge. I always like to see sketching to communicate as a third language that one can use to communicate thoughts and ideas in graphic. DNT is accepted as a required subject in many poly courses. I will just share the courses in Singapore Poly so that you can have a sense of courses like chemical engineering, all courses in built environment, engineering, information and digital technology, maritime studies, medias, and design. Accepts DNT as one of the required subjects. 
This information can be found readily in all poly websites. For our N-level students, these are some courses that accepts d and as one of the required subject. The table here shows courses that d and students have certain age over non d and students. Courses like interior and exhibition design, product design, uh, mechatronics and robotics, digital and precision engineering, built environment, mechanical technology, and many more. I look forward to seeing you in my class in 2022. Thank you for watching these presentations and have a great day ahead.